Oh, didn't see you there. I was just lifting some weights, you know, just a little bit. But that's not what we're going to be doing today. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my How to Stretches. Today, I'm going to show you three different stretch routines for your chest. This includes the full name, the steps to take to do them correctly, the benefits, and also, last but not least, the exercises that are benefited by these stretches. All right, everyone, let's get stretching. All right, everyone, we're on to our first stretch here. It's called the angle bound, ankle bound chest pose. And uh, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna start in a seated position here and pretty much just gonna have your uh, knees and shins and feet to the floor. And first thing you wanna do is uh, spread your knees out a little bit more, probably about hip length. Same thing with your uh, toes and your shins. You wanna keep them uh, even with each other. Raise up a little bit. Then you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna come directly to your heels. Pull your shoulders back and tilt your head back like so. And you wanna bring your, your abdomen forward just a little bit. For this stretch, you wanna hold it for about 30 seconds. All right, you guys, the next one moving on to is ankle bound stretch chest uh, extreme wrist. So this is a little bit the same, but there's a couple of differences and I'll show it to you as soon as uh, we get to like the side views and the back views and stuff like that. Uh, but this is how you do it. You stay seated and see how my knees are too close to each other. You pretty much want to do the same thing as the first stretch. Get them nice and uh, distant away from each other, about hip length. Um, and then you want to take your hands behind your feet. Raise up just a teeny bit, not as much as the other one. And then put your uh, face forward instead of back. And you just want to, when you do this stretch, you want to be at more of an angle. Like so. You want to hold this for about 30 seconds and then we'll switch to the side and along with seeing the differences I'll also explain it as well. So just real quick so you guys see the difference from the side. Put my hands behind my leg. Alright so here's the difference once again from the back. Kind of just be pulling your hands straight to behind your feet there. Put your face forward and lean back a little bit with your shoulders and back. All right, on to our last stretch. All right, here's our last and final stretch for the day. Uh, the target for this one is also the chest area. Uh, this is called the crab up. Pretty much what you wanna do is start in a seated position. Get your feet about, uh, or your heels right about where your butt is. And then you wanna lay flat on the floor. Reach your hands behind your shoulders, like so. And then press up. You'll wanna hold this for about 10 seconds. All right, everyone, we're on to the benefits of these stretches. And the benefits of these stretches are opening your chest, relieving stress and pain from prolonged sitting or poor posture, uh, along with stretching the spine, hips, quadriceps, and hamstrings as well. Let's go ahead and move on to the exercises that are benefited by these stretches. 
All right, everyone, here are the exercises that are benefited by these stretches. A push-up. An incline push-up. and a decline push-up. And that are the exercises that are benefited by the stretches. time ah, there we go all right everyone thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed making it for you like subscribe comment below if you have any questions or anything else you'd like us to add to the channel maybe even change for the channel as well and as always grab life by the horns and unleash your inner bowl.